Hello everybody and welcome to the face reading for successful relationships. For those of you who are with me today for the first time, if you get interested in the subject of face reading, you can watch my YouTube introduction to face reading. You can also buy my book Face Reading Secrets for Successful Relationships. It is available on Amazon.com. Yes, today I'm going to do a reading of Kira, Cedric and Kevin Bacon. If you remember, four months ago, I did the reading of Marla Thomas and Phil Donahoe. They wrote an article, Celebrity Secrets to a Long Happy Marriage. In the article, they spoke about couples that stayed together for a long time. In fact, their own marriage has been solid for 40 years. I chose to do a reading of these four couples. We already know from the interview that this, this relationship worked. They even shared with us in the interview what made these marriages last so long. What we as face readers are doing is attempting to see if there are any temperamental or personality characteristics which made these matches so successful. I already did the readings of these couples, Thomas Marlowe and Phil Donahue, and Tracy Pollan and Michael Fox. Now is the turn of Kira and Kevin, whose marriage lasted so far for 32 years. I have to tell you, I really enjoyed doing this reading. They're a fun couple, and I gave a wonderful interview to Marla and Phil. Uh, you can read the article. It is published in a magazine uh, AARP, uh, American Association for Retired Person. Here this, uh, this picture shows them at a younger age, and here they are now. You know by now that usually our faces slash personalities change. In fact, they may change every five, seven years. But Kira's and Kevin's personalities did not change. Look. Kira was a Mars and Kevin was a Uranus at young age and here Kira is a Mars and Kevin is Uranus now. Interesting, huh? So what do we know about Mars and Uranus personalities? Ladies first. Kira as a Mars is action-oriented, ready and willing to put up a fight. Uh, of all sanguine personalities, Mars has the shortest attention span and the shortest fuse. So Kevin probably learned from the get-go not to argue much unless it's absolutely unavoidable. The good thing he learned was that though as she would get impatient, she, she would probably explode, uh, she was, was not interested in long... Uh, discourse and rather would fight to get her way, she did not hold grudge for a long time. Um, when the fight is over, she's back to being cordial and happy and loving. Uh, but look, her personality goes, goes perfectly with her temperament. She's definitely a sanguine. Yes, I understand this picture is a kind of... Uh, not real, that is, she has her head lifted up. But even if we rotate the picture somewhat here, she is still a sanguine. Look at the jaw going down almost 90 degrees angle and protruding chin and the tilted forehead. And can you see something else? Yes, though the forehead is tilted, there is a roundness on the upper part of the forehead. So she is a sanguine with the bilious intellect, powerful intellect, with the ability to think every issue thoroughly, uh, to work through it thoroughly. After the typical sanguine explosion, of course, uh, then comes that thorough thinking, not before. Uh, remember what I taught you about face faces corresponding with temperaments. If a person morphs into a face slash personality which belongs to a different temperament that they belong to, it means that as a child they were not permitted 
um, by the environment or caretakers to be completely themselves. If Kira developed as a child the face of a Mars and she was born with a sanguine temperament, and Mars, as you know, is one of the sanguine faces, it simply means that her parents did not put pressure on her to behave or to do anything that she was not. And as she grew up, she did not have to change herself in order to fit in her environment either. Good job, Mr. and Mrs. Sedgwick. Good job, Kevin. So, though, what do we know about the sanguine temperament? Pretty much what we already know, uh, as we spoke about the personality. In addition, we, it also, of course, tells us, the profile tells us about a person's body and type and energy type. As a sanguine, Kira is physical, active, muscle-coordinated, loves sports and competition. Uh, she's a short-distance runner, meaning she runs out of steam after doing some vigorous physical activity. Unlike the bilious temperament, who can keep going and going like the Energizer Bunny. So she is generous, uh, courageous, short-tempered, and gets easily bored. She is a great communicator. Remember Ronald Reagan, who was called a great communicator, and he was a sanguine. She is spontaneous and fun to be with. And now let's look at Kevin. Here he is. As I already said, he is a Uranus. As you know, Uranus' personality includes all characteristics of the Saturn personality, with some of those characteristics being taken to the extreme. So first let's look at the Saturn slash uh, uh, face slash pers personality. They are extremely time conscious. They need to be on time. They are very uncomfortable if they are even a few minutes late. They like timelines, they like to be time to be accounted for. They are very reliable. They must have order to be comfortable. They have the most perseverance than any personality. They are always organized and meticulous and always know what they have done so far and what it is to be accomplished. They take time before they act and therefore sometimes they seem to be indecisive, but really they are not. They just need some time between the thought and action. The Saturn are deep thinkers with philosophical inclination. They are positive pessimists. They see the downside of everything, but welcome a challenge and see it as, a, as an opportunity to overcome the challenge. Also, the Saturn are the most sexual of all personality types. In addition to these characteristics of Saturn, Kevin, uh, as Uranus, is far advanced in his thinking. While Saturn's behavior is always measured and predictable, Kevin, at times, may be eccentric. And what about Kevin's temperament? Here is his profile. And it's not as easy to read his profile as it was Kira's. Let me help you out a little bit. Clearly, there is a nervous cast here. You see the green line. And the corner of the jaw looks nervous, um, seemingly going up all the way to the ear here, like this. Uh, but it's easy to make a mistake here. If you look at another picture, this one, here you can see that there is, in reality, a bilious corner of the jaw. And that makes a big difference. Let me show you how this jaw looks, would look if it would be really a nervous jaw, the red line. The next picture will show you someone who has a real nervous jaw. That's a, a man on the right. That's a real no, nervous jaw line. The reason I spend so much time clarifying this is because the corner of the jaw tells us whether Kevin has a lot of physical endurance, that like a bilious energy, or a little stamina, like a person with a nervous jaw corner. 
But wait, this is not all. Though Kevin has a nervous cast, his chin is not a receding chin like a nervous has, but it's a typical bilious chin, and you can make a straight line from his forehead to the chin, like we see usually in the bilious. So Kevin is really a bilious with a nervous cast. And now let's put it all together. Here's what we have. Kevin is a person who is as a bilious, willful, organized, long-term planner, has great endurance, and as a Uranus, he's time-conscious, detail-oriented, philosophically inclined, somewhat pessimistic, and needs time to be uh, accounted for, and he needs space between time and action. And Kira is a totally the polar opposite. She does not care about order much, gets bored from too much talk, she is spontaneous, does not care about being on time, and is an eternal optimist. So, four years ago I made a video, I think it was called Finding Your Soulmate. Uh, there I talk about soulmates not being someone who is just like you, but someone who complements you, completes you, that is, has in abundance qualities that you need to develop in yourself. And you have the qualities that he or she needs to acquire. So both of you have the opportunity to, to grow. Well, some of you may say, but how do you survive together when you have so much, so many different differences, uh, such different inclinations like these two people? One is the magic of love, of course. But as face readers, we are not satisfied with such an answer. We must see if something in their morphology is helping them to overcome the challenges that I already demonstrated. And of course, something does. From the beginning of their relationship, Kevin probably learned that his sweetheart could not, could explore uh, excuse me, explode and, and was ready to fight. And that she also did not hold grudge. Yes, she was ready to fight and then quickly would go back to being happy and cordial. Having a nervous cast, that is uh, creativity, flexibility, and the ability to be dip diplomatic. Kevin knew how to navigate his way to peace and physicality. Why physicality? Remember, his mate is a sanguine. The people of sanguine temperament are physical, love, motor activity, love, physical contact. Kevin, as a Uranus, is hypersexual and would end conflicts, I assume, with tenderness and lovemaking. I have seen so many couples while making my videos, but I have never encountered a couple which had so many fortress where they are so loving, so physical, so uh, obviously tender with each other. And in a short interview they gave to Danehu, what advice did they give about making the relationship work? I think uh, Kevin said it, keep the fights clean and the sex dirty. And in the same short interview they managed uh, when speaking about losing their money because they invested in the crooked Bernie Madoff scam, Ke uh, Kevin said when they found out that uh, they were ripped off, he said, well, we don't have the money. Let's have sex. It's for free. So what also helps, I think, this couple, usually Mars has gray eyes or blue eyes and they're not too loyal in relationships but Kira has brown eyes meaning that she values closeness and lives more by the heart rather than by impulse. Kevin's eyes are blue typically a Saturn or Uranus have brown eyes since he is not a sanguine but a bilious his blue eyes do not propel him to act impulsively, but allow him to be more 
detached when his sanguine wife is impatient or misplaces things, for, for example. Both, I think, were able to get over the money loss because she is a sanguine and eternal optimist, and he is a Uranus with his philosophical attitude about life and its predicaments. As you can see, she has um, balanced lips. The upper lip is as full as the lower lip. So she can speak and express herself when there is a challenge, when there is a need. And he has a thin upper lip and always did, which means he does not have the need to speak. She probably speaks for both. And how does he address the challenges of life? Again, through his philosophical contemplation and the bilious way of seeing what happens as challenges and opportunities to grow and overcome. I hope I demonstrated to you by now how, while being so different morphologically, people can actually do very well together, and Kira's and Kevin's lives are proof of it. And then, of course, there is also the magic of love, which is above all. That is what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you for being with me on this journey. Peace to all who want to live in peace.